Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I want to give a little bit of information that will make it easier for yourself and also for me if you're sending in an engine for break-in service, the trade-in program, or just for general service to your nitro engine. Now, I don't need the exhaust system for the break-in. I basically just need the engine. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and install the caps, the glow plug, the exhaust gasket, or you can just leave them in the engine box and I can install them. But again, don't need the exhaust system. I do need the carburetor because when I do the break-in service, I also set the needles and make the adjustments for any OS or Novorossi based engine. Now, if it's a REDS or FX or some of the other engines that I don't have a lot of experience running myself, I usually leave just the stock settings that come from the factory. But if it's an OS based engine or a Novorossi based engine, two companies that I have a lot of experience with, I go ahead and adjust the low speed, high speed, mid speed, and also the idle adjustment. But when you send in an engine, please make sure to include your name, return address, email address, and also a brief description of the service that you're looking to have done. Sometimes engines show up, it could be a used engine that maybe already has a new piston and sleeve in it, but there's no note, and it's a little bit more difficult to kind of figure out or I have to open up dialogue and have some communication as to what service needs to be done. So if you can just in include um, a return label also with uh, just your return address. On the back side, you can put your email address because when I finish service and send out any engine, I, um, I use your email address not only to talk to you about the service that was done, but also to email you tracking information. Uh, next thing would be when shipping an engine, um, if you feel more comfortable, you can do signature required or anything like that, but typically I have all the engines sent to the Mugen office because there's always someone there during normal business hours. Um, the packages are left in a secure spot. They're not just left on, a, on the doorstep or outside, um, so they're, it's, it's safe. And then when sending your engines, what I found to be the most inexpensive way to ship your stuff is if you're able to have the engine in a small box that then fits into a padded flat rate envelope. These are really inexpensive. It's like $8 and 40 cents. Um, depending on the size of the box, a lot of times you can fit multiple engines in here, um, especially if you don't have the exhaust system or any extra stuff with the engine. A typical turnaround time for service and break-in is usually one week. If I'm out of town for an event, um, there could be some delays because if I'm not here, obviously the, the service and the work can't be done. But usually I will send an email, let you know, or you'll see on my social media that I may be out of town for an event. But these steps should help make it a little bit easier for me to help get the engines turned around a little bit faster. So again, please provide your name, email address, your return address, and also a brief description of the service that you need to have done to your nitro engine.